Welcome, welcome everyone to my channel. If you're new, then I hope you enjoy this video. And if you are a returning tater tot, then hello, and thanks for checking out this video. I know it's a little bit different than my usual ones because obviously my channel is a Sims channel, but I did want to kind of check out this Enzoi that everybody has been talking about. I've seen so many other creators and their videos of it. And once I found out that there was a free demo for you to create a Zoi, I definitely wanted to check it out because I did want to see, I've heard like how the specs for the game are pretty intense, so I wanted to see how my computer fared with that, and it did do pretty well. So needless to say guys, when I jumped into this to create a Zoe, I was like, what am I going to create? I first started trying to create myself, and it was terrible, okay? Like, I feel like I don't know what I look like, <laughs> and it just came out. Like, there was no face shape that like I felt really suited me to where I could adjust it and I just wasn't happy so then I thought to myself you know why don't I try creating my characters from my Sims 4 legacy and so my most recent one is my K-drama legacy and like it is the legacy that I have created from scratch and brought to the community and I am just oh my gosh I'm in love with my characters and so I really wanted to see what would they look like in a real life you know realistic setting compared to the Sims 4 so so this here is Hyung Sik Park and he is basically our male lead in my K-drama legacy for generation one, Fisherman's Daughter. And so I have to say guys, okay, I am really, really pleased with the options that it does give you with creating your Zoe. Like I was actually really impressed. I was kind of confused at first with the mechanics of it because I didn't understand quite how to adjust it. And I realize now after the fact too that um, there's a lot more customization options, but I didn't realize it. Like down here when you're looking at like colors and things like that, like when you're on skin tone and the eyes and things like that, there's a lot more. And I didn't even like look at it. I didn't read into it, okay? But keep in mind everyone, like this is literally a demo so there's stuff that is just bound to change like this game isn't actually released yet so this is a great opportunity for them to get feedback from the different communities about what people are expecting or what they want and I do think it's really cool that there's like a lot of customization options for like changing colors or adding patterns but I do kind of agree with people I do wish these sliders for creating like your body shape and things were a little bit more diverse. So here is Hyungsik also, so you guys can see my Sims 4 version and the realistic one. I think he came out so good. But I will say the traits, I feel like there need to be more in a way because like I didn't like all of the options that it gave me. Like I wish there was more variety, I guess you could say. But oh my gosh, guys, this lighting here, like where you can adjust your lighting and the shading, the direction of the light, it is amazing. It's really fantastic for like if you're trying to do storytelling or just taking gorgeous photos of your Zoys. And so I really like that mechanic of it. But as for the gameplay itself, I don't really know how that is gonna go. Also, let's just take a moment. Look at Hyung Sik. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so odd to see him like looking like this. Like, I like it, but I still like my Sims 4 one more. But also, I'm partial to it because I'm playing with them. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, but I was I was pretty pleased. I felt like I did a decent job with trying to recreate him. And I do wonder when it comes to gameplay, as I was saying, how you can like how it really works. Like, could you create the same type of storylines like we do in The Sims 4? Obviously, it's its own whole different game from The Sims. So I don't want to totally compare it to that because it's not meant to be The Sims. It's not, I don't think it's meant to be like a replacement for it, but just a different take on a life simulation game. So in this next one here, this Zoe, I decide to create my main character, our female lead of my K-drama legacy, which is Yuna Yu. And they don't have a hairstyle like what I have exactly for her in my legacy and you know that's okay so I just went with the pigtails I thought that they were really cute also that was the other thing like while I've got this thought on my head like on my head in my head <laughs> while I'm looking at the hair right here none of the hairstyles when I was trying to make myself fit my hair at all like I don't have bangs like all of them had bangs that had like longer hair and it was just 
Uh, it was just frustrating. But I do feel like there could be a little bit more customization on the face, like with the, the cheeks and things like that. But I guess that's where they say that you need to choose like the most accurate type of preset face for you to adjust. Cause you can't just like totally like change it from what the preset is. And so I did have fun trying to adjust things and whatnot, but it is kind of like, because it's realistic, I feel like if you adjust it too much or stretch it, it might look weird or odd versus like how in The Sims 4, it's a little bit more cartoony, but we know that The Sims genre itself has always had a more like quirky attitude towards it. So this one being a take on the realistic side of things, I am interested to see how that works. Now, I know it has this whole AI thing, but I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan really of AI, like for certain things maybe, but like for this game, also I don't have an iPhone, uh, so I can't test out anything like that. But I just wanted to purely see how this looks like for creating your Zoys. And I have to say, all of the contour options that they give you, like, see, look at this menu. Like, you've got your skin tones, but then you've got all these other things down here. And I didn't even mess with those. Like, I didn't pay attention to them at all. And so I think that that's actually really incredible. But I do wish, like, once again, right here with these body presets, I wish we could adjust things just, just a little bit more because, like, the chest itself, like, you couldn't get very big. And some women do have larger chests and some are way more curvy and some have like really big hips and a smaller waist and so I do think that they do need to broaden those options. Obviously the clothes were like really limited but it is just a little demo so I I imagine they're gonna have way more clothes and I think they have mentioned that there might be mods that they might allow modders to do stuff so then we might have CC for this game. I have no idea. But I wanted to give Yuna an outfit similar to the one that she wears in my legacy, like where she's got that green short sleeve shirt. So I just did my best to match it. But I think she came out really cute. Like she looks casual. She lives on the island of Sulani and she just, you know, enjoys herself. Her father is a fisherman. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my K-Drama Legacy, you should go check it out. I hope you guys like it or find something that might interest you. I will say I give them full props for the options for the nails. I love how there's a glisten on them, the options for changing the colors. But yeah, obviously accessories are crazy limited, but I imagine there will be more. And here is Yuna Yu in the left hand corner of my Sims 4 Legacy. So you could get you so you guys could see the comparison. So here are my final photos with her. I was really pleased with the lighting and just being able to see all the different angles. Like it is a really fun tool. Like I could see myself just playing and Zoe literally just to like make people and <laughs> just to create Zoys. And I have seen some people when I did go on their, what do they call it? Canvas this is like their gallery. I did see that they had some people that had like created, I think Angelina Jolie and several celebrities, which was amazing. Like, I don't know how some people do that. <laughs> I can't even create myself. Okay. Let alone a celebrity, but I feel like I can somewhat create <laughs> my a, a recreation of my sims characters so yeah this is yuna she came out really good really cute and i felt like this scene of like a garage fit more of the sulani like fish market old shop vibes things like that at a gas station in town and then i decided okay well i was having way too much fun right making hyungsik and yuna so then i decided i'm gonna make her best friend mean song and and when it comes to these hairstyles, guys, they're gorgeous. I love the pigtails right there. I think that they're really, really cute. I love that you can like change out the hair and the adding the highlights is incredible. Like how you can have like a touch of blonde, like almost like a balayage in their hair. And the makeup is just really, really stunning. And how you can have like those little highlights and touches, it really adds such an effect. So I was very, very pleased with that. And at first I thought about giving her the pigtails because my Sims 4 version, she kind of has her hair like in a, like half up, like her hair's down, but then she has like the little pigtails like on the top. I don't know how to explain that. Like I don't, 
I don't know, is there a name for that actual hairstyle? If you listen to J-pop music and you know the music artist Nami Amuro, then she used to wear her hair like the way Mean wears it a lot. <laughs> so yeah, you could look at her for a reference. But the makeup options, I mean, I'm hoping that they give us more eventually, but I really like that you can literally just slide it to have any shade that you want. And again, there are some more options down below, but of course I didn't pay any attention to them. And I did try to choose options for their traits that I felt would suit them. But as I was saying earlier, it's like, I think when I read the information for the different traits, it's like I like one or two of the options, but then the other two, I'm like, oh, that doesn't really sound like them. So I'm, I'm interested to see how those will actually affect a Zoe and gameplay because I have no idea. Like, I feel like this game, from my own personal experience so far, I think creating them is really fun. I have watched people's gameplay videos of it, and I think it's interesting, but I will say I am not a fan of how... It's like when the Zoys get married or they have like a big life event, how it's just like a five second video. Like, I feel like that's gonna get really boring if it's gonna be that way for every single time you get engaged or you have a baby or you get married, whatever. Like it's always gonna be the same thing for every single Zoy. So it's gonna make them all too similar, if that makes sense. Like at least in The Sims 4, like yes, proposals are technically the same, but like you could change your location to take all the photos of the proposal and things like that. And I just wonder how that's gonna translate into something like this but obviously if it's someone who's never played a sims game it might be great you know they don't have anything to compare it to and i don't want to go into it comparing it fully like to the sims as i said earlier because it is supposed to be kind of its own thing because not every life sim needs to be based off of the sims game like people can take their different interpretations of it and this is a realistic one so i mean i think the like little cinematic things are cute but I just see like it getting old very quickly. You know what I mean? And so I am interested to see if they're gonna change that in the future or what. I am also interested to see how like you can create a story in it. Like is the purpose of it to create a story or is it just a goal? And then did anyone else notice like, okay, when you're watching the beginning, it's like you are this girl going to work creating the Zoys and trying to understand the secret of life through the Zoys that sh they're creating in these worlds. So it's like, are you literally like the outside people looking in on the Zoys? I mean, I, obviously because you're the one creating them, but like, you know what I mean? I don't know if that made any sense, <laughs> but I might just be stating the obvious and everybody's like, wow, you just realized that. But anyways, so mean, I think came out really cute. I had so much fun with her makeup because Mean is like Yuna's fashionable friend. She does work at a fashion boutique and she's into makeup. She's into all of the clothes and dresses and things like that. She would love to be a stylist and I was I decided I was going to change her hair up and I decided to go with this one because if Mean got herself real dolled up and real cute, and she also looks amazing in the colors pink and red, then I feel like this is what she would do. And like her makeup is definitely a lot heavier than Yuna's is. And so I had a lot of fun with this and I couldn't believe that I could like separate the colors for the bottom. See, here's our girl Mean. Doesn't she look gorgeous? Yes. And nails. Oh my gosh. I had way too much fun with the nails. I just wanted to click on all of them and just play around with all all of all of the different patterns and I don't know if you guys know this but in real life I do really like having nice nails I used to have like different nails every week but not like expensive ones like I'm the kind of person that just goes to the store and I buy the glue ones or the stick on ones because I change things up too much I get bored of the nails too fast <laughs> and so I like to change them up like that but it's also a cheap way for me to feel cute okay but look how cute she looks like these poses yes honey you look so cute also I need to mention I did look at the like animations and the smiles and I agree with a lot of people like they're kind of creepy <laughs> like when you make them do facial expressions it kind of creeped me out not gonna lie and the movements looked a bit awkward like I don't know it's just like 
kind of stiff but not if that makes sense but anyways so my last Zoe I decided to create was going to be of course Sohee Han so in my K-drama legacy Sohee Han is a childhood friend of Hyung Sik Park and when Yuna first meets her she thinks that Hyung Sik and her might have a thing and she's like really worried about it but then she comes to find out from Sohee herself that nope they're just childhood friends and she is like disgusted at the thought of them being together because she views him like a brother and all of that but from the world that they come from their parents would love it if they were together but so he has no interest in that and so he herself is a model so she does a lot of modeling shoots in the big city and things like that so I wanted to give her a more unique appearance her Sims 4 version does have stronger features like stronger cheekbones and things like that but she still has a delicate face like she has a more delicate nose but she does have some pretty good plump lips and she has like these really piercing blue like I guess kind of like aqua-ish eyes and her hairstyle is different than the others and I feel like this was like the closest I could get to her hairstyle it's still too neat for Sohi because she definitely likes to have it a little bit roughed up around the edges and a little bit yeah that's the word I'm looking for a bit more edgy and so I tried to do my best with it but you know it is what it is and she does wear like big hoop earrings but these are the biggest hoops that they have so I just went with it okay and so with her makeup it's kind of similar like with mean where she has a lot more intense colors and they're really bright and things like that and she is a very confident girl so that is why I gave her the leader trait but I wanted to give her the big wing because I hadn't used that one yet and in The Sims 4 she has that wing but anyways I have heard so much controversy in regards to this game there's so much back and forth on it with everybody and you know I just say you know if it's a free demo like you could at least give it a try just to see if it interests you now obviously I know that the demo is over now but when it was available like there's no shame I think in just trying it just to see and because it's just letting you see what your other options are out there and so I'm intrigued to see if they're gonna like really take the feedback that people give them like about increasing options on the sliders for the bodies and things like that because it is kind of limited and so I don't know how like you don't want to go too extreme because I get that they're going for realistic and so and while there are some body shapes and reality that are kind of crazy um, and out there and things like that that are different from the norm like I don't know if they're gonna go that far with it if you know what I mean and so I can't wait to kind of see what really happens over time with this just to see it develop but it's kind of interesting because when I heard about Enzoi it was like I feel like it just came out of nowhere like all of a sudden it was like oh this thing's already like this far in development and I was like what in the world where did this even come from and then of course we still have Paralyzed we know Life by You has ended and so I'm interested to see as well with Paralyzed how that goes no my channel is not going to just become like an all life simulation channel like when it does come out I might play it a little bit we'll have to see but no I still love and adore the sim genre I mean I have played it since the sims 1 when it first came out and it is, holds a very special place in my heart so and plus I love legacy challenges and the sims 4 I feel like is very open and free to where it allows me to create what I want and I know some people don't like it being to where like they have to create a story more on their own versus it just giving one to them but since I am a creator I like to create my own story so it's like a really big thing for me but I do think that this game it does look really beautiful my computer did handle it well but there was one video clip like when I would start it that it would like always be really laggy and jumpy and I don't know why because my graphics card is definitely good enough to handle it so my husband looked at it too and he couldn't figure it out either but anyways also these nails yes honey they are amazing and I'm also interested to see how they do like 
Oh, yep. Yeah, before I get into that, here is Sohi's comparison. She looks beautiful. But yeah, as I was saying, I was interested to see if they're going to allow like you switching between like the male and female clothes and things like that and adding different features in that aspect. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me on this video where we kind of explored Enzoi and created my K-drama legacy characters in a realistic light. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you didn't check it out, I don't know, maybe they'll come out with another free demo in a little bit. Who knows? But I'm excited to see what is on the road for the future and hopefully to see if it helps to push The Sims 4 team to keep on going. So thank you so much, Tater Tots, for joining me. And I will catch you next time. See ya! Thank <laughs> you.